They said he was too slow. A curious boy scolded for asking questions, but at home his mother whispered, you're not slow, you're brilliant. Years passed, experiments failed, sleepless nights, hundreds of tries, one glowing dream. Then, with a flick of a switch, he lit up the world. Thomas Edison. Proof that every spark starts in the dark. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lenny. What if I told you that you could bring history to life using AI? In this video, I'll show you how to use the new image generator version of ChatGPT, which is ChatGPT 4.0, to create an AI animated video about Thomas Edison. And we'll be going step by step, generating the images using ChatGPT 4.0. All, which is ChatGPT's new image generator and editor and adding animations and telling the inspiring story of Edison's inventions and I can assure you that you don't need any special skills all you need is your computer and access to ChatGPT and a few other tools that would be used in so if you love history or where you want to make amazing AI videos then this tutorial is for you so the first step is to generate our script and in order to generate our script we're going to come into ChatGPT. Uh, when you come into ChatGPT, just make sure you are on ChatGPT 4.0 and Lidra's version. So in ChatGPT, we go into the prompt box. We put in this prompt that will generate a 30 second story or 30 second script on Thomas Edison. So this is the exact prompt you have to use and this is the output of the prompt. As you can see, it has like a follow up question. If you want to generate a voice over script, animation cues or storyboard breakdown cues. So I'm going to say yes. So in order to do that, you come back into the prompt here and you say yes. Generate voice over script. And then you click on enter. Now, as you can see, a voice over script has also been generated for us. Um, the good thing or the reason why you'd want it to generate its own voice over script is just because he just wanted to align with the video or with the photos that you have. Now that third thing you have to do about the script is to go on and generate animation cues. This is going to help you later on when you are trying to transform your photos into videos. So in order to do this, you're going to try GPT and enter this prompt. Generate animation cues for my script. And then you click on enter. Okay, so our animation cues have also been created for us. And as you can see, later on when we are adding audio to a video, you will be able to leverage some of these recommendations when it comes to audio. It's also given us like timers as well. Uh, so it's very helpful, especially down the line where we are trying to put everything together. So now that we have our script generated, we have our uh, voiceover script as well generated, and we have our animation cues generated, the next step is to go on and generate the image and to do so we'd want to generate the image for each of our scenes okay so as you can see like we have our first scene which is this one so what you just do is to come here and then copy the scene and then you come back to the three dots and you click on create image and then you create the same in there and then you click on enter you would have to do this for all the scenes i believe we would have about six images at the end of the day so this is how the first image looks like and as i mentioned earlier you have to do it for all the other images so i want to do it for the next image as well so again you copy the scene then you come into the prompts you click on the three dots click on create image and then you put in the prompt and then you click on enter always make sure that if you want to post this video on youtube and you want to also include a layout frame because chatgpt may not know what sort of frame you are going for so if you're posting it on youtube then you want to as a long form then you want to make sure the frame is a uh, 16 by 9 if you are going to be posting as a short form you want the frame to be 9 by 16 and then you click on enter this is the output of our second prompt and as you can see we have a text in our image and this is not exactly what you're looking for the beauty about this chat image 
our generator and editor tools that you're able to provide prompts, simple prompts to just edit the image. So I'm going to tell ChatGPT to remove the text. And in order to do so, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come in here and then I'm going to say remove text from image. And then I'm going to click on enter. Now, this is the image with the text removed. And it was able to do that in a few seconds. And as I meant that their last and wrist limits on ChatGPT, right, like with respect to generating images, might be a bit annoying in having to wait around to have your reach limits lifted up, but that's fine. Okay, so we'll do this for the rest of the images that need to be generated, and then we move on to the next step. So this is the output of our third scene. This is the output of our fourth scene. This is the output of our fifth scene. Again, this is the output of our last scene. As you can see, there's also text here. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come into ChatGPT, and then we are gonna say, remove text. And you're gonna click on enter. It's like that, as you can see, the text has been removed for us. Now, this is all you have to do when it comes to generating images. And you can go on to explore further on like, other things you can do when it comes to leveraging ChatGPT's inbuilt image generator and editor tool. Now let's move on to the next stage of your tutorial, which is basically generating the videos. But in order to generate our video, we're gonna be using Helio AI. Um, the reason why I'm using Helio AI is just because it has a general free version. It is about a thousand one hundred credits, and consequent every video we generate will be about thirty credits. It's a really general free version because you're able to generate several videos, and so I like that aspect of it. So when you come into Helio AI, you come into the image to video tool, and then you go into ChatGPT, and then you copy the animation cues that were generated earlier from ChatGPT. The reason why we generated animation cues is to really help us when it comes to animation because it, it gives you like the time ends as well. So you have an idea of like what's prompt to use for which time in the video and it matches the exact scripts that was created earlier on so it just makes the whole image and video generation process a little more easier as well so when you're going to ChatGPT, you basically copy the animation queue for every scene and um, we had about six images so you copy the animation queue for every scene and then you paste it into their instruction box and then you also select um the camera movement so for the camera movement, I'm going with like lounge for clean. So that is what I'm going with. So because we started to the camera movement, I had to do some edits in terms of the instructions because like I've already, this particular tool is already capturing the camera movement to us. So that's fine. And also in terms of them, whether I'm going with 12 v or one director, which is also really good. So let's try it out. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we did for our image uh, generation. Okay, so first video has been generated. I'm just gonna download this, and then I'm gonna do same for the other images as well. So I'm gonna come in here, and then I'm gonna do same for the second image where the teacher's quotes are uh, Thomas Edison. And as you can see, it also give what the camera movement should be. So it says close ups. I'm gonna come into camera movements here. And I'm gonna look for like a more close up view. The downward tilt is what I'll be going with. Then I'm gonna click on create. Okay, so a second video has been generated. I'm gonna download it and do same for all the other scenes we have as well. So I'm gonna do it for the third one as well. The third one is where he gets a hair from his mom um, and his mom telling him he's different. So I'm gonna do that as well. So once we are done generating the videos are uh, AI animated story. Next step is to go into 11 apps and generate our uh, OQ, which is gonna be the voiceover or our AI animated story on Thomas Edison. So in order to do that, you go to 11labs.io. 11 apps does have a free version for the YouTube trials. I am currently on the free version. When you go into 11 apps, there is the text-to-speech tab, there's the voice changer tab, so there's a sound effect tab. You then really upload your own voice. You can change the voice when you upload it um, and you can even include sound effects. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to be using the text as a peach. If you want to really make this as like a business, you want to have like a face this YouTube channel. Maybe you may not want to use like the predefined um, AI voices. Maybe you'd want to use your own voice to maybe in your own unique style. And for that reason, you'd want to use the voice train. Yeah. But um, in this tutorial, I'm just going to use text to speech. You click on text to speech and what you want to do is you want to go back into ChatGPT and then copy the voice over part 
of this story. So in ChatGPT, we generated a voice or a script. What you just do is you just copy the whole voice of our script and then you bring it into 11 labs and then you paste it there. Just be sure that you remove anything that says narrator. You just want to have just the script and not the instructions or the packs that says narrator. So you move all that as well and then you click on Genesis speech. Okay, so now that we have all the images, all the videos, all the audio we need for our story generated, the next step is to come into CupCut and we're going to put everything together in CupCut. So when you come into CupCut, you have to drop all the videos and the audio as well into CupCut. And you, our audio is only 26 seconds long and internally I have videos about 28 seconds. So we may want to uh, make a little bit of some adjustment just to make sure that our videos and our audios are aligned. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little bit of some trimming. And then that would be fine. Now we have all our videos and our audios aligned. And the next step is to include some transition. So I'm just going to come in here and maybe I'm just going to select like a fade. Um, just so it can just fade out um, nicely. So you don't see like the the sharp changes in the various scenes. I'm going to do that for each of the breaks. And now that you've added transitions, the next step is to add your audio. So I'm just going to go for just some relaxing lo-fi music i mean you can really decide on the type of music you want but i'm just gonna be using lo-fi and again when you glug the audio just make sure that the audio isn't too loud to the extent that the narrator's voice isn't coming up so i'm gonna reduce the audio's volume and then i'm gonna add some captions so i'm just gonna come into captions and then i'm gonna click on generate okay now that the captions have been generated i'm just the law make them into a bit of a fancy caption so i'm gonna come into templates and um, i'm gonna just select the template i want to use i'll be gonna go with this one and uh, let's see and now let's play what the output looks like they said he was too slow a curious boy scolded for asking questions but at home his mother whispered you're not slow you're brilliant years passed experiments failed sleepless nights hundreds of tries one glowing dream then with a flick of a switch he lit up the world thomas edison proof that every spark starts in the dark so this is what the output looks like and this was actually done in just a few steps using a few simple prompts the only pain points to this whole process was the fact that you made the images in chat should be p4 or really through the wow so it sort of like delayed the whole process but to be honest like i think this is great um i'd encourage you to try it out and you know what your thoughts are and if you have any concerns comments just leave them in the comment section below and um, let me know again if there's any tutorial you'd want me to do if there's any tool you want me to try out just drop it in the comment section below and i'll be happy to do so um if you haven't watched my previous video it was about uh, how to generate ai animated bible stories uh, i'll carry you to check it out as well i'm gonna leave it on the screen so that you can check it out but if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you